Every time I speak, I want the truth to come out. And even if I get in trouble, you know what I'm saying? That ain't that what we're supposed to do. It's, I'm not saying I'm going to rule the world or I'm going to change the world. But I guarantee that I will spark the, the, the brain that will change the world. You were just right in every pocket. <laughs> Shut the hell up, stupid. This man don't want to hear your shit. You sound like you want to suck him off. At this time, had him and Dr. Dre kind of... Now, he was new, so he wasn't tripping about nothing. There wasn't no animosity with Dr. Dre. She night brought that shit in there. And like I say, the bitch Miss L.A., she started half her, her mouth and her pussy. She was fucking Dr. Dre. And she felt like she couldn't do that again, so she's doing fuck Suge Knight. That's why Suge Knight and Dr. Dre was in the beef. Mouth, pussy. You know what I mean? Dre. So, then Tupac came in to, put, to play. And he hit Gemini like me. Nigga love bitches. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you flirt with me, bitch. I'm going to take it to the next level. You know what I'm saying? And she liked the, the, the attention and she wanted to be a star again. With nobody else in the crew trying to make her be a star. But Tupac, you know, put her on a couple of songs and shit. Got her popping. And I think he screwed her. If I can get my dream as jacked up as I am, you can get yours. Right? Yeah. Because if you look at some of them tapes and shit and on YouTube, when we in the studio, she in there rubbing on his neck, and then I heard, I mean, probably did, I did not, you know, but they did in New Orleans, you know what I'm saying? So, and then that's what probably was Suge and Tupac got into it over Michelle Lake. Like, man, you gotta leave my bitch alone, you know what I'm saying? Did that type of shit. So Suge was just scandalous like that. I mean, he was scandalous, he was just super scandalous. Just fucking everybody, woman. Fucking Dr. Dre's baby mama. He fucking you. I find out, you know, you getting fucked. What you supposed to do? I mean, you know what? But it's turmoil inside the family, but you wouldn't know it. Did he get the pussy? You know what I mean? Oh. So, Suge Knight, Dr. Dre, Tupac. Everything else was cool beforehand. I mean, he probably asked that bitch, you pussy. Hey. Yo, YouTube, what up? It's your homie Gab, I'm in the building. And this is Machiavelli Media. Daz Dillinger has said some crazy shit over the years. Daz has said some wild stuff about Death Row, about Tupac, about Suge Knight, about everybody <laughs> at one point in time, right? But to me, one of the most controversial things Daz ever said was about Miss Chalet. And what he said was, or should I say he implied, that Miss Chalet may have had intercourse with Tupac Shakur. Now, if you look at the video footage of Tupac in the studio, with Miss Chalet hanging on to his neck, rubbing his head, you know, look like whispering sweet nothings into his ear, you may agree with that assumption. You know, Daz would go as far as looking into her track record. He said that Miss Chalet was the exact reason that Death Row Records fell apart. Because the two founders and heads of the label, Dr. Dre and Mr. Murray and Suge Knight, Miss Chalet smashed both of them. <laughs> had a baby by Dre say Dre used to beat on her next thing you know she fucking his partner and then his boss Suge Knight now could you imagine the tension at Death Row Records with seeing your ex your baby mama sitting on your homeboy lap and you gotta act like you cool with it. Hell no, nah, niggas wouldn't be cool with that. That's work, that's tension at the workplace like a motherfucker. <laughs> Let's be real. Let's call it what it is. And then you add into the nuance, new shining superstar, straight out of prison, 
Number one with a bullet. Whole world speaking his name. Tupac comes into the fold. And he say, and according to Daz, yeah, Michelle A got tossed up by Pac as well. But just how does that look? You know, she running through the whole crew, but the heads of the label. And it's not like this a groupie. This Dr. Dre baby mama. This somebody he stuck with. He glued to her. At least for 18 years. Now she's smashing his partner. And Pac. The crazy part is, I think Dre might have dipped by the time the Tupac accusations come into play. I think Dre had all, Dre, Dre couldn't take it no more. Dre had already skipped town. So now Suge, you know, has staked his claim on her. He having a baby with her. Well, I think the baby came later. But Dad said, yeah, you know, if, yeah, I think Pac might have smashed that. Now, if Dad's is saying that, and Dad's is very outspoken, <laughs> imagine how many other people at Death Row at that time was thinking, yo, is she fucking Pac or what? Seeing her and can them on Tupac back like a hoodie, like a fur coat. I know they was all thinking that. But you know, one of the most, should I say, complex things that Daz had to say was, Suge Knight believed that as well. And that was the most telling part of everything he said. Because Daz was trying to keep it G. He wasn't trying to snitch, but he was trying to tell you, I don't know if he did it or not, but I think they did it down in New Orleans at <laughs> the Silver Fox Hotel. <laughs> I mean, he just basically told you without telling you where it took place, when it took place, in the aftermath of it taking place. That's key right there. He said that Pac and Suge got into it because allegedly Tupac and Miss Chalet did a little bumping and grinding down in New Orleans. And everybody know about this infamous trip that Death Row took down with New Orleans. So basically, Daz is telling you that's when it happened. Or allegedly, that's when Suge Knight thought it happened. And he said it caused friction. It caused friction between Tupac and Suge. He even went as far. The interview was a, a Vlad interview, DJ Vlad. Daz talked about it on there. And he talked about it on Death Row TV. You can find both interviews here on YouTube. Daz even went as far as insinuating that maybe this is why Tupac got killed. Daz was pointing the finger back at Suge Knight. And he said, it all stemmed from Miss Chalet. The man didn't mince his words. He didn't bite his tongue. He was very clear and very direct. Who, whose feet he lays the blame for the demise of Death Row Records. That's right. According to Daz Dillinger, Miss Chalet ruined Death Row Records. One woman brought down a whole empire. It's powerful. But real G shit wouldn't be the first time, though. <laughs> Some powerful little women out here, man. And, um, you know, hey, how the niggas can't handle it. Tell me what you guys think. Don't forget to sub to the channel. This is Machiavelli Media. I'm your homie Gab. It's been a pleasure as always. I'm signing off. I'm about to hit y'all with the peace. You gonna suck me off? <laughs>